To create a list of items by using HTML, we use the UL tag, then the list tag. Okay, now I'm creating a list of items what they are considered as a node. Now I'm creating an item. This is a one item, and if I want to just create multiple ones, I just need to duplicate the same ones. And you see this, this bullet points right here. You can just define the content for the list by going, for example, I will go for a list of colors, red, green, and blue. And from the style, you see here that we have bullet points. The style will change when you are using an ordered list or ordered list. Okay, let's just go now for the next one, which is the ordered list. Ordered list. Same here. The parent will be OL, which means that ordered list. Then the list still the same. LI, which means that I'm creating a one item within the ordered list. I will go, for example, for a list of animals. Okay, let's just go for lion. So this is the lion. Elephant. And this is what do we have as a difference. So this is an ordered list and we have bullet points. These are the bullet points created here from the HTML. And for the ordered list, we have an ascending counter from one to two. So it depends on how many items we have inside the ordered list. So in our case, we have two. So we have one, two. Same here. This is the result. One, two. For example, for this in ordered list, we have this one and two numbers at the left of each item. So we can control the type and the value of these two items by using two attributes. So this type and value, they are attributes that can be used inside this item. So in order to control the value displayed on the left of each item. And for the types, we have lowercase letter, uppercase letter, lowercase Roman numerals, uppercase Roman numerals, and numbers. Okay, let's just go for the first one, which is A. Okay, I'll go for type, then A. Now display the character at the left of each item is a character A. So it doesn't mean that I need to use B here or C or whatever. So even if I go for B or E or any other letter, so it will go to the default one, which is the number. So this E just defined that I want to use a lowercase letter for this item. Okay, for the next one, I will use the same thing. And if I duplicate the same item, so you'll see that I have an ascending letter from E to G. Okay, let's just remove all of that. Save that. And if we wanted the letter to be in uppercase, instead of A lowercase, I will use E uppercase. Now I have an EB, duplicate that. You see E, B, C, D, to F. For the next one, I have the lowercase Roman numerals. So for that, I will use the I lowercase. Same here, duplicate the items. I have counting on Roman numerals from this one to this character right here. But when I use it in uppercase, I will change this I lowercase to i uppercase, save that, then duplicate that. So this is what do I have from the symbol to this one. Okay, let's just now go to the last one. For example, if I want to go to the default one, I have multiple items here in uppercase Roman numerals, but for this one right here, I want to go for numbers. For that, I will use one, which means that so it will use number for this one right here, for elephant right here. You can also use this type attributes for the unordered list. I will just remove this items and I'll remove type from the ordered list. Then let's just copy that and put it at the unordered list. For example, I will go for the next item. Now I have a B, which is defined that this is E and B. I'm not using the type for the first one, but once I use the type for the second one here, so it's just defined that this is a B, I can go for the uppercase letter B and for the next one I will go for the lower Roman numerals okay type and I here and this is what do we have as a result this type is not only limited for the ordered list but you can also use it on the unordered list this type can also be controlled by using CSS using it from HTML can only force the style from CSS let's remove all of the types from the unordered list then the other interesting thing here is we have an attributes value. I will use it for the ordered list. So let's just go for A, which means that I want a lowercase letter. We'll go for them one, A. Now I have an A and B, but if I just define the value here to be one, one is the equivalent on the letter is E. For example, when I go for three, it will give me C. I can control the values of each item. And I want to just start from C, which is defined. Three is the equivalent of E. If I want to go, for example, for six, I'll go for F and G. Same here, I can put the uppercase here and A. I'm not defining here the value. This is why it starts from F, then go to G. 
So ascending order. Then I can go for type one or just remove the type for the next one. Now I have six and seven. So you see here, I can control the value of each item. And if I want to put a value here, a default one without even taking this order, so I can go, for example, for nine, I have no nine. Let's just put a number which is lower than six. I'll go for two. So I can define the value manually of each item by using this value attribute.